the MFT zone is a little bit of free space that uh, immediately following the MFT, the master file table on the drive. So it's important to uh, discuss the functionality of MFT zone. And I'd like to begin by uh, um, trying to picture where the master file table itself is located on the drive. So here it tells me that um, we have um, a starting sector here. I'll just press Control C to copy it is um, this value and this is the sector number. Okay, so I'll open my notes and specify that uh, this is the first uh, MFT sector. Okay, so this is what we know about uh, the location of the MFT itself. Now, if I, if I jump right back to the a partition and uh, take a look at this uh, the backup copy of the boot sector which is right at the end of the file system um, its um, uh, physical sector location is this so I'll just copy and paste like this so this is the last uh, last sector of NTFS so roughly what you can see is that this is roughly halfway uh, or one third uh, through the entire space of the drive. So the MFT itself, the master file table, is located uh, somewhere, you know, roughly halfway through the size um, of this entire file system. And so let's talk a little bit again about the uh, MFT zone. So the MFT zone follows the MFT itself. So right here, uh, this is uh, this first uh, rectangular shape right here is the MFT itself. And then there's MFT zone, which is, uh, which is uh, a little bit of uh, reserved uh, free space. Uh, and then we have free area for files and then somewhere again halfway through the rest of the space is the MFT mirror copy. So by the way, let's uh, take a look at the location of MFT mirror. Uh, so here we have back to the root directory MFT mirror. Uh, this is physical sector 1.9. Uh, and so it fills um, uh, somewhere here. So this is a physical sector of MFT mirror. Okay, so roughly this is halfway between this and uh, this, right? So 1.9. Yeah, so these, this is how these things are placed uh, um, in, um, you know, on the, on the entire um, uh, file system space. And uh, so the idea behind this MFT zone, uh, which is this uh, area right here, that it's reserved for master file table to grow. So uh, initially, master file table is allocating certain space and not all of its entries are used. Uh, but then if we run out of um, MFT records, then MFT uh, zone is used to uh, add new records to the existing MFT file. Uh, so, but how it's done is that the MFT zone is divided in half. So this is divided in half and then new file records are added at the bottom half. So then the new records are basically start being populated somewhere here. And then as we keep growing and growing, then again, it will be split in half and again populated. So it's just kind of a fancy way how uh, the file system software uh, is calculating uh, and trying to optimize this process of uh, growing the MFT so if the entire MFT zone is used up, right, so if this is now be becomes all uh, used, uh, then uh, MFT may still have to grow. Uh, so there is a possibility 
that uh, uh, master file table will become a fragmented file. So it will be, you know, so if this is already used, so then it may have uh, its uh, uh, continuity. So the clusters may be allocated somewhere here and it can become fragmented. And um, by system design, um, a master file table cannot be defragmented because defragmentation heavily depends on the information stored in the master file table and it's basically using all of this information at the same time because defragmentation involves multiple objects and it would be too dangerous to try to defragment the master file table itself.